Hello again, my beautiful YouTube family. Welcome to all my new subscribers. And as for all my regular ones, y'all know how I feel about you. Thank you so very much for being here. Let's do this AIA Beauty Bundle. All right, you guys, it's $34.99 bi-monthly. So averages out to about $17 a month. And this month, they did a collab with Trust. Uh, Trust Hair Care. I believe it's just called Trust Beauty, but it's a hair care line. Um, AIA donates a dollar for every box that they sell to Hope Cancer Research Fund. So there's another story to go along with this. Um, I'll put it in another video for you guys. I'll do a little update for you. Anyways, I absolutely adore that about them, and I appreciate it so very much. It is so near and dear to me, guys. Yes, teary-eyed about it. <laughs> All right, my loves, this is what came in here. Now, AIA put their own detangler in here. Now, there are no prices on any of this. Yes, it came with a card, and I'm not sure what I've done with it because I actually got on Trust Hair Care line, I guess. I don't know what to call it, Trust Hair Care. I got on their website to learn about these products and to see what the prices were, and when I got on there, I couldn't find any prices on anything. I'll put little uh, pictures up above of the screenshots that I took and everything. And then later on, I'll show the video of me actually using all of it and connect it all together for you. So, what they put in here. So, the AIA Detangler. This one has this mask that you can put in your hair while it's dry. And you leave it in overnight. It's called a night spa. And... Y'all will see in the video later how that went. And then it also came with a shampoo and a conditioner. And then it also has this Deluxe Prime, which leaks everywhere. I cannot get the lid to stay on tight enough to where it is not leaking everywhere. So it'll be standing up somewhere. So you guys... This has sulfates in it. And yes, I've done my research. And as you all know, I love my hair. I love my hair. And um, to be honest with you, I haven't read the back of a shampoo or conditioner bottle at all until now. <laughs> um, your body creates its own oils and it has its own chemistry to help maintain your hair. Now, some people are extra oily. Some people are extra dry. If your hair is extra dry or if your scalp is extra dry, you do want to avoid sulfates because it works in conditions with your shampoo and can become um, agitated and dried out. It can irritate your scalp if you're already super, super dry. Other than that, that's all sulfates do, you guys. And my hair isn't extra oily or extra dry, so it's fine for me to use all of this. Which I did, and I'll put all the videos together for you. And then I'll come back on, and I'll let you know my final thought of it. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, y'all. So, it's the next day. I had this in overnight, the Night Spa Serum. I can still run my fingers through my hair, so it didn't get crusty or anything like that. Now I'm going to use the shampoo. And then this Deluxe Prime is the next step. And then I will do the conditioner and I'll let y'all know how it turns out. I'll see you guys in a few All minutes. All right, y'all, now that the fog's cleared out, I shampooed it and it's a clear shampoo. And this is supposed to be vegan-based, high-tech, organic um, actives in it. It has sulfates, it has alcohols, it has fragrances. So there wasn't much of a fragrance to this, but it's a clear shampoo, like a clarifying shampoo. It did just fine. <laughs> after I shampooed, no wait. Yeah, after I shampooed, I used their Deluxe Prime. Not sure what the point in this was, but I peeked out of the shower and took a picture after I used it. And the fragrance smells like... You have been using hot tools on your hair, like flattening irons or curling irons, and you put too much product in your hair and you get that burnt smell. That's what this smell like. Do not care for this. Do not like it. But 
I really didn't feel a need for a conditioner after I used that, to be honest with you. But I did. I went ahead and used the conditioner. This is a very thick, thick conditioner, like a hair mask conditioner. And as you can see, I don't feel a need for a detangler at all in this long hair of mine. Like, y'all, my fingers, look. Oh, that little naughty there. But look, it comes right on out. I really don't feel a need for a detangler after this use, but this hair care line did come with a detangler, so for the sake of using the whole hairline, I'll be using it. Um, AIA also sent their brand of a conditioner, or not a conditioner, but a detangler, but I'm going to stick with the Trust line and go ahead and try their detangler for you, and then I will get it dried, and I hope the smell gets better. There's still a light scent of that hot iron product too much in your hair smell in it. So I'll go use the detangler and then I will blow dry it and I'll get back to you. The detangler also has a heat protectant in it. So fingers crossed y'all. I'll right, see you in a minute. So out of the shower, I'm going to use the hair protectant gel cream daily protector on here. It's quite a weird consistency. But it's supposed to be a detangler and protect your hair from the heat. So, I'm going to get in here, give it a blow dry, slap some makeup on for y'all, and then let you know my final thoughts about it. I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, my loves. The Hair Protector Gel Cream Daily Protector. This is some seriously florally scented stuff. But, as I said before, after conditioning and using that hair primer, I really didn't see a need to use the detangler slash hair protector. But I did. But look, I can comb all the way through. But, I could do that with my 10-in-1 from the Eva NYC. And this is one step. Compared to one, two, three, four, five steps with this system. But I'm going to go ahead and finish drying it and I'll let you all know how it turns out. I'll see y'all in a minute. Everybody, just checking in with you. I'm 15 minutes into drying my hair. And so I got quite a bit to dry here. The smell of it did dissipate quite a bit. So I'm not really too concerned about the smell of it anymore. Um... It is taking longer to dry my hair than it normally does with my normal stuff. And I kind of fibbed on the last one before this, before drying my hair, because it would have actually been... I normally, of course, shampoo and dry condition my hair. And then I use this. So it would actually been just the three extra steps for this one. Guys, I'm not seeing much of a difference in between my normal minimal stuff that I do to this entire line. Um, I'm still gonna have to use a flat iron on the ends here. But you have to say their uh, conditioner worked amazingly on the uh, being able to run my hair, my hand through my hair and letting it sit in the shower. <laughs> so I'll be back in a minute and let y'all know what the end result of all of this is. Just wanted to check in with y'all and let you know how it was going. Now back to hair drying. Hey, my back beauties. Back. Here it is after drying. I am definitely going to have to use the hair straightener on it to get the frizzies down. Hi, guys. Um, I'm not seeing, like, an amazing difference for all the steps I just had to go through. Um... I don't got much to say about it, to be honest. The scent did go away quite a bit. But as far as all the steps, I did not enjoy that at all. I did not enjoy the Deluxe Primer whatsoever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get it straightened. And then, as I said earlier, slap some makeup on and let you know what I discovered about it while doing some research on it and tell you all about it and if it was worth being, I don't know, featured in a subscription box. All right, guys, sorry about the shaking. I'm holding the camera for you. I'll see y'all in a minute again. All right, again. guys, this was the end result. So my hair is not heavy. It is actually very light feeling. 
Um, the ends of it are not really frayed, I'd say. I did have to take my straightener to tame down the frizz in it. Um, the smell from this, where'd it go? What'd I do with it? The Deluxe Prime. It's a floral, y'all. It is floral. And you'll see that in the picture. Um, how I felt about that sneaking out of the shower. As far as not knowing what the prices are or anything, um, I would like to have an idea of how much it all cost. That would be amazing. Um, I'm going to look on AIA's, AIA's website and see if I can find it there. But as of right now, I haven't been able to find prices for any of it at all. Um, guys, I don't have much thought on it either way. It's a whole lot of steps. Um, the hair protectant, it worked really well, really well. The detangler in it was amazing, but... It was already detangled from doing the conditioner and this Deluxe Prime and um, then this overnight treatment. I mean, it wasn't really tangled at all. So, I don't have anything good or bad to say about it. It's just another hairline. I didn't care too much for the smell. But other than that, it was good. <laughs> As you can tell, my hair still survived it. It did great. Um, with, it has the sulfates, the alcohol. Um, I think I believe it also has phosphorus in it, too. Um... You guys, just another hair care line. It worked just fine. Don't be scared of it. Go ahead and use it. I think it did great with my hair. All right, my loves. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed me washing my hair and all that good stuff. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Just let me know which videos y'all prefer more. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.